Hello. Let's go, grunts. Do you know what would be a really good idea? Healing. <laughs> Haven't healed in some time. And like, not just, not because it's difficult or anything, but purely on the basis that I don't, you know, I, I want to heal. It couldn't hurt, you know? Couldn't hurt having full PP and HP and blah blah blah. Wouldn't be the worst thing, would it? No, it would not. Really wish I had the faster bike. I should really go to Morville and change, but whatever. That's for another time, I guess. Oh my, hello. <laughs> we finally meet again. It's been free. Mm -hmm. How long has it been? Nink and poop, it doesn't matter. Brace yourself. We won't let you call us the quintuplets. Of course, I've been the made way I completely entirely misread that. Whatever. That's not the point. Point is, yeah, five on one. A horde of my Tiana. A horde, they say. Again, it would be really good if I had Surf right now. Because I can take them out easily. I mean, unless this move can actually... Oh god, this is gonna... Wait, does that mean five of them are intimidating me? Does that stack? Because that could technically make this really difficult, actually. Like, my attack is at the lowest it can be. Right, does this attack everyone? Damn. I was really hoping it would. I'm just seeing if I have anything that attacks everyone. No, I didn't think so. Okay, then I guess you have given me no choice. Swanna, come on out. This is going to end badly, but do it anyway. Cool, I'm not dead. By all accounts, I should definitely outspeed them. So, that won't be a problem. My special attack may have failed, but that won't stop Surf anyway. Kill them now. Wow, these areas really lag. You wouldn't think six Pokemon at once would be that taxing. But apparently it is, and I love how they fall like dominoes. <laughs> Yeah, you wouldn't think it would be that big a deal, but lo and behold, there it is. Yes, you lost again. <laughs> I knew we would lose. I wanted to win in style like the Hoenn Rangers. It's odd. That strategy, intimidate five times in a row, should be invincible. Did you cheat? Hmm. It is a good strategy, I can't fault it, but hey, let's go. I'm ready this time. Your timing is impeccable as always, Teal. Team Aqua, what do you intend to do with that device? You do realise that this is the last hope we have of saving this planet. What was that? What? Last hope? Hmm. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I ain't laughing one bit, punk. My bro. My bro whom I loved so much. Are you trying to tell me that everything we've done up till now, the ties that bind us, all of it was a mistake? My bro has changed since he got mixed up with you. How convenient it must be for you to put all the blame on another. Sh shut it! I'm... I'm... Know what? That rocket's full of crazy amounts of energy. It's even more awesome than the ultimate weapon that ended the war 3,000 years ago, right? What? If I use this keystone I found at Media Falls, I can force the energy inside the rocket to explode. It'd be like Mega Evolution for the rocket! 
Who needs a meteoroid? I'm gonna bring an end to all things with my own power. The one who will complete Project Azov and take the world back to its beginnings is me. Teal. This fool. This incredible fool really intends to do it. If we don't stop this now, our whole world will be embroiled in its in the destruction. You're ready to battle, aren't you? Of course. Wonderful. Sure you are. Sure you are. I don't know why I just suddenly gave him that voice. Like, I don't think I did immediately. It was just at a certain point I was like, you know what, I'm just going to give you this voice because why not? I don't know which is the bigger threat here. Either way, I'm going to take out Sharpedo, I think. Oh, it's Mega now. I might not kill it, actually. It might manage to survive. We'll see. Nope, never mind. I mean, I knew I had super effectiveness, but it went Mega, so it has good defenses now. I don't know. Not that good, apparently, but still good. Oh, spikes are good, actually. Very good for online battles. Oh yeah, I have rough skin now. That's cool. That's actually really cool. And you're down! Was that unnecessary a second time? I'm guessing yes, but... Yeah, it basically means whenever a Pokemon is switched or comes out, uh, just from what, for whatever reason Pokemon Guy decides to change, uh, they take damage. It's a very good move. I don't know how many Pokemon can actually learn it though. But it is a very good move. Whoa, uh, oh, uh, uh, dang it. Am I not good enough, bro? Teal, now is our chance. Take the dimensional shifter and... What? Wow. What? A Pokemon? Doesn't it belong to... Nice one, Asta! You're the... The Draconid? Yep! Or you could just call me Zinnia. Asta. Thank you, dear. Now then. That is an impressive machine. Snap your fingers, the asteroid vanishes. And we all live happily ever after. <laughs> Indeed. It's like that former champ said. This thing is the best hope we have of saving this planet and everything on it. But you know... It could also be the worst tragedy imaginable for some other world and everything on it. What are you trying to say? I'm not talking to you. You don't get it. But you, Teal. Hope for a world. Tragedy for another. You get it, don't you? And you come through again. You never disappoint me. My people know it. From generation to generation, we pass along the lore about the distortions in the world, born from the Mega Evolution mechanism, and about the existence of another world, which we have long observed to be just like this one, and yet not the same. That's right, a Hoenn region that's almost exactly like this one we live in, filled with Pokemon and people like us. A world where maybe the evolution of Pokemon take a slightly different path, where Mega, mega Evolution is unknown. A world where that war 3,000 years ago never happened. A world where the ultimate weapon was never even built. And in that Hoenn, of that world, what would happen if one day, out of the blue, a meteoroid appeared? What would happen to the people of that world without the technology to destroy the meteoroid or the power to warp it away? Looks like it's beyond the power of your imagination. 
What kind of fool are you? You have no substantive proof, and yet, yet you claim another world. One just like our own exists? Out of this fantasy, you... You have destroyed our only hope! What have you done? Farewell, brief hope. Y you! Do you even know? Now what are we to do? Calm down there, Prof. It'll be okay. I... We... We can protect this world. And the other. Who exactly is we? What are your intentions? Oh yeah, silly me. I forgot the other thing I came for. Oh, enough! And that's the keystone gotten. Now I'll put it together with the keystone they've got in their base. Looks like my next appointment is calling, so I'll excuse myself now. Later. That, that punk. How dare she try to take my bro Archie's keystone. Not cool, man. Not cool. Confound it all. So she must be making for, for Team Aqua's hideout next. Think, Stephen. Think. To do what to do. Well, I know what to do. While you sit here and do nothing, I'm going to go to Team Aqua's base. It's about to get lively in here. I'm pretty sure after Team Aqua's base is when everything gets really cool. Um, but before we go there, I've got a brief trip to Morville, I think. I think it's time I switch my bike around. Because I'm mildly tired of having the slower bike. I'm sure it doesn't really feel like it's going to be a huge, like, difference. Then again, maybe it will feel like it'll be a huge difference. I don't know. Hi, I was thinking about switching bikes. Thank you. Okay, so how much faster actually is it? Okay, there is a difference. <laughs> Just a very big one. The fact uh, the difference is that this one is fast. <laughs> okay, we are going to Lilicove. Because we're going to Team Aqua's base. I think you basically have to go through the entire base, just as you did the first time. I might be mistaken about that, though. I like the bike theme in the games, but I would be okay if in future games it didn't change the music. And you just rode the bike. Or there was an option to turn off listening to the bike theme when you were on the bike, you know? Because... The music in the game is really good, and it kind of just changes into not as good. Anyway. Oh, boy. Yeah, okay. Well, we know who they're talking about. Does that mean there'll be no Team Aqua members? Because they've all been destroyed by Zinnia. That's a very real possibility. I don't know my way through this place, so uh, let's figure that out. I think I went the right way, which is handy. Hello. Okay. Well, you've got a reputation to uphold, and I respect that. I mean, it won't help you, but... Because, you know, I have this thing called Gardevoir. So, uh, you're done. So, I don't know exactly how this, like, the story is playing out, but if I understand it correctly, the Hoenn they're referring to, the different Hoenn, is literally the original Ruby and Sapphire. A different Hoenn that didn't exist in this world. It's just such a cool idea. I love the idea of just saying, yeah, these games existed, but this is a different universe now. <laughs> It's just such a cool idea. It works really well. I honestly can't remember what happens to Zinnia, to be honest. 
But I hope she does survive this because if she doesn't, I'll be sad because I want her to return in another game. <laughs> She's really cool. I would be all for having another section at the end of Sun and Moon with Xenia because why the hell not? Like, why, why not? It would work fine. Not bad. Alright. Now where am I going? I'm going to pick left. I don't know if I picked the right way or not. I have nothing to confirm or deny this. However, I might be able to sleep in the bed. I can't sleep in the bed. Okay, so this is a dead end. Cool. What about the right, the right one? Would that be... Well, the right one. Would right be right? Let's find out together. It's not. No, it might be. Um, I still don't know. So, uh, it, oh, hello. I don't think I went here before. Ooh, that's very good, actually. That is very nice. Yeah, I didn't go here before. I know which is the real way now. It was none of these. <laughs> it is this one instead. Good job, Teal. The same problem arises for these. I don't know which is the right way. I think this takes us to the Master Ball area. Or not. Okay. Still incredibly lost. Actually, is the Master Ball... Did I get the Master Ball at the end of the area? Or did I get it in the room with like the multiple teleporter lines? I don't even know anymore. I think this leads to the teleport lines. No, it doesn't. This is where we need to go. Cool. No, it isn't. <laughs> Never mind. That's good. That's pretty good. Okay. I know where to go now. <laughs> Fun story, it's this one. There we go. Wow, how difficult was that, right? I wonder if she saw me. <laughs> I get the feeling. Just a hunch. Yeah, this will be no problem. This should be no problem at all. another Kavana, I'll be really happy. Oh, that's fine. I mean, to be fair, with Team Aqua, I can take out any single one of their Pokemon with Gardevoir alone. Gardevoir has a a super effective move against literally every single one of their types, so... I mean, Gardevoir is just overpowered in Aqua bases, and technically overpowered against Dragons, which is... Handy, because that's all the Delta episode is, really. Dragons and Aqua. Sweet. <laughs> Very sweet. I can't help but shake the feeling that I've gone the wrong way. Mainly because multiple reasons. Hmm. I'm confused. I have a theory on where I have to go. Don't know if it's accurate though. Okay, so, 
I've been in every single room except one. And I think it leads to Archie's room, if I'm not mistaken. Because they change things up in, in this one. You don't go to the end. I think. It, it's slightly coming back to me, so I think we do need to go down here. Plot twist. We don't. <laughs> that is the opposite of what we want to do. And then left takes me down, right? Yay. Oh, now we've got the hard one. Middle or left? Go in middle. Excellent. I think that's what I want. Okay, let's go left. I've suddenly changed my mind. Left sounds great. There it is. Alright, and the winner is Zinnia. Archie, are you okay? <clears throat> I'll be keyholed. I can't even remember the voice I did for him. How did I get beat by a little slip of a girl? Oh, oh, what's this? Aren't you a happy girl, Asta? Just what I'd expect of my daughter. We're so in sync. <laughs> you. Who are you? Who am I? That's a surprisingly difficult question. I couldn't become who I was supposed to be. So, who does that make me now? <laughs> Whatever, right? Enough of all the introspection and the soul searching. You there, Teal. Don't just stand there like a stick in the mud. Come on over and say hi. You. Scamp, but why are you? Isn't it obvious? He's the hero, right? Here to save the world again. Oops, but it looks like he's a bit too late this time. If only I didn't skip that. I accidentally skipped that, my bad. Archie, hang in there. There now, I'd say this keystone is mine. We finally got everything, Asta. Now we can do it. The summoning. We will summon Rayquaza. Well then, looks like my job here is done. So don't me mind me while I excuse myself. Oh, Teal? I really hope you'll come chasing after me, you know. We will be heading to that ancient tower sealed since primal times. The Sky Pillar. If you don't know where that is, well, ask that former champ of yours. He'll know what I'm talking about. Find me there. Oh man, what makes her think she can do whatever she wants? And then hightail it out of here. Little scamp. Fine. I guess it's just fate that you showed up now at all times. Shelly, give it to the kid. What? Is it? Is that okay? Yeah. What could I do with a mega stone anyway now that I've lost my keystone? I understand. Oh, that's very kind of you. The Sharpedo Knight. Make sure your Sharpedo holds onto it tightly. You take my power, Scamp. I'm giving it to you. That woman. I don't think she's just any old trainer. Not with the way she controlled those dragon-type Pokemon of hers. I've got no idea what she's planning. But I think you're our best bet at stopping her now, little Scamp. Do that for me. Got it. Teal, are you alright? Is that right? I never even imagined. The Keystone, the Sky Pillar, and the Draconoid people. Draconid. So that's it. I begin to see the line connecting these dots. I think we need to meet up at once to discuss what we should do next. I'll be winning at the Space Center up on 2F. Do hurry. <laughs> I'm on it. And that takes me up, yes? Yeah, yes, it does. Cool. I do like how this world works. I like this area. I say world, it's not a world. But yeah, I do like how it works. It's really cool. Oh, I have to bypass you. Yay! That's everyone. Cool. I'm happy now. Okay. 
Okay, Space Center Agogo, and then I think I'll end this one. Because next time should be the end, if I'm not mistaken. We should very easily be at the end, because next is the Sky Pillar. I know what there is left to do, but it is just the Sky Pillar, so it's kind of ending time. Which is exciting. This will be one long finale. Two more steep. I should probably heal just in case. You never know what might happen. I honestly have no idea what happens. I mean, I know what happens at Sky Pillar, but before that, I don't know if anything happens. So, uh, I'll just make sure. <laughs> Can't hurt to be safe. Right. Steven! I'm here for you! Oh, Steven! Tell me what to do. Even though I know exactly where I'm going, tell me what to do. Teal, I have been expecting you. Is your throat dry yet from all the talking? That's it. That woman, that Zinnia. She mentioned the Sky Pillar. Few can enter it. Only the successors of the ancient world who, who know of what has been. The Law Keepers who are tasked with passing on that knowledge to those who come after. Do you remember Wallace, whom you met in Sutopolis? Is that right? That's a relief. The gym leader of Sutopolis, Wallace, should know how to undo the seal on the Sky Pillar's entrance. He is also one of the few humans who have inherited such ancient lore. I will remain here to work with the Professor and his team to devise a plan for what to do next. That woman, Zinnia. I cannot put my faith in her. We will think of a new way to stop the meteoroid on our own. Zinnia and the Sky Pillar. I will leave them in your hands. I will send a message to Wallace for you so that he knows, so he knows to help. You will probably find him in the Cave of Origin in Zootopolis. Noted. Well, that'll be next time. Lots to do next time. So. My throat is dry. I've talked a lot. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you next time. Where well, I guess it's technically the finale. Oh my god. How exciting.